Hello and welcome to Armoured Warfare with A3 Heyman and today we'll be having a look at the new tier 5 Chinese premium tank. We'll also be having a look at what's been included in the patch. Okay what I'm going to do is do the review on the tank first and then go over some of the uh, patch details at the end of the video. And the new WZ. It's a tier 5 Chinese premium, the WZ1224. You can get it from the Zhang dealer. To me, I really enjoy this tank. Um, you've got 425 millimeters of armor on the front of that turret. 280 on the front of the hull. I and mean, look how it's sloped as well. I mean, that's pretty, you know, pretty impressive. You're not going to penetrate the front of that turret. That's in another tier five. You can penetrate these little cupolas. You're not going to do full damage. I've penetrated them in my WZ and done about 110 damage, 120. Um, you can penetrate this lower plate. But if you're in another WZ and you're getting close to them, you're not going to have the gun depression to penetrate that. Because it's got a minus 3 gun depression. And you're never going to get your gun down to hit it. Um, the sides are like paper. So if someone's showing just a small amount of side and you hit that, it's going through. You know, it, it, you have to be dead on with this tank or wiggling slightly to stop them, you know, getting a decent shot. But yeah, they're, they're going to going to pen your side very, very easily. Um, I'm using Freya in mine. I have Spin to win because it's not a fast tank. It's well armoured and I want to try and get that hole around as quick as possible. And I also have quick draws to try and get the aim down. I have a thermal sleeve, Mark II. I have a chrome barrel lining, Mark III, and the enhanced drivetrain. I mean, this is just my personal preference. Obviously, go with whatever you feel comfortable with. But I want a bit of reload, a bit more damage, and to be able to turn that turret a bit more max speed. Um, yeah, the gun depression is not the best. Like I said, minus three. The gun elevation, though, is very good. I must admit it has very good gun elevation. Um, the penetration of the shell AP is pretty good, 300. That's more favourable to its tier 5 Chinese tank in the line. That only gets 271. I believe that is with the fully upgraded ammunition. It is. Um, the Mark 6 only gets 272. So, as it stands, the you know the standard AP... Or well, the AP, it's not standard, it's just what you get. Is pretty good penetration wise. So, yeah, nice little tank. Uh, let's see how it performs on the battlefield. Okay, here we are on the pipelines map. Crank it. Affirmative. Gunner, um, target. Yeah, Burger. as you can see, Burger, it's out. not an amazingly fast accelerating tank. And one of the new things you've just seen there where they fix in the patch is if you now ding someone slightly, no damage taken or given. You have to really hit them a little bit harder, which is nice, you know, because before you'd like just lightly touch them and they'd lose 100 health or you'd lose 100 health. So, that, that's one of the good things they've done in the patch. They also used, when the, the patch first came out, they had these stupid little symbols that were coming up in the middle of your screen. Fortunately, they removed them because they were, they made it a little bit too arcadey, they were a bit intrusive. I just didn't like them. Not pushing too hard. This is a tier six match, so I'm sitting back. Just got to stay on the hill because, as I say, no gun depression. So I'm on a downward slope. This has got great gun elevation. No targets. Just biding my time. There we go. We've spotted something. Can I get a shot off? Yes, I can. It's nice, it's a kill. I'll have that. <laughs> yeah, not a lot to shoot at, at the moment. Repositioning here. Another tier 5 near me. See, I'm using the downward slope and that gun to cover my lower plate. And because I've got really good gun elevation. I can still hit stuff that's coming over these hills and look at how good that gun elevation is, you know. I can pretty much cover the weak spot on my tank and still fire. 
I mean, I am slightly, you know, losing some of that sloping on the, the hole, but yeah. Go pen. Yeah, I can't pen that. No, that was nowhere near. And now he's showing me his side. See if he's gonna pop back. Wait for it. Oh no, no. Yeah, we're still playing a bit of a waiting game. It's more of them than us now. Nice shot the M16. Showing his butt. Oh, that was so lucky. See, I'm bouncing these shots. Which is nice. No, can't pen that either. Don't even noticing at the top of the screen. I'm getting the shot in the K out. Also, there's a grey thing right at the top of the screen. Um, that's when you don't get penetrated. When you do get penetrated, it's a red. I don't particularly like that. I think it's too arcadey. I wish you could have the option of turning that off. But yeah, unfortunately not. It's not so intrusive when it's grey, but when it's red, it's. Uh, Ammo up. Yeah. Incoming Artie. Well, he's going to have a go. We're on a slope so we can get moving quickly. Did very little damage. And we hit him again. And he's gone. We've now taken a lead. Time to push forward. Okay, Popping like flies. But yeah, obviously... Quite a few hits taken there, none of them penetrated. Great little vehicle. Not the fastest on the planet, admittedly, but once you're up to speed, it's not too bad. The armor's really good, gun penetration's pretty good. Now spotted. Get a shot off that guy. No, he's behind that dune. Ah, the you I can get a shot off on. Yeah, that's him dead. Ah, the artillery. We'll have some of him. See, you see the red where he actually hit me? Yeah, don't like that. Let's see if we can get this guy as well. Yeah, shot on him. Showing us his butt, so all good. And I missed that, unfortunately. Shifting. Stop. Hit him. We get a last hit on him. No. But yeah, not a bad game. It wasn't anything fantastic. It's just showing you the gun elevation, really. Maneuverability of the tank. Yeah. So yeah, like I say, not anything special, but not a bad game. Came top of the team. Um, 2,092 damage. 254,000 credits. Yeah, you can't really complain at that. Um, I also bounced. How much did I bounce? Uh, 2,264 damage. So, yeah, pretty good. Driver, crank okay, here we are on the Cold Strike map. <clears throat> this is a uh, very tier Driver, 5 game. Back. At least there are 15 players on each team. Uh, one of the other problems with the new patch, I find, this new matchmaker. Um, there was like 160 people queuing. A lot of tier 5s and I'm getting in games with 9 aside or 12 aside, 13 aside. Even though there's probably more people online than there normally is. Especially in that tier. So That's highly irritating. I don't mind queuing for longer, but I'd rather have full teams. You know, I don't know what you guys feel, or what you think. But yeah, it's, it's one little irritating factor for me. Let's see what we can see. I mean, they've got three WZs, we've got three, so... They're what I need to, to knock out, basically.
try and engage this guy. Keep the front facing forward. I'm showing a bit too much angle there. There we go. Lining up. Don't know if this guy's going to pop back out. Oh, he had just a pop to the XM. Identify. Hostile tank. Here he is. Oh, that was a shame. There's another guy to my left. See how easy it is to pen that side. There's another one. So all three of those WZs are here now. The other WZ is taking a bit of a beating. Oh, tracked him. Come on. Come on, RNG. There you go. Same side. Oh, I'm going to penetrate him. Back, check it behind me. Let's see if we can get another shot. Showing way too much side there. Let's just feast on that. And he's down, that's good. Now there's still two WZ, he's taking a bit of a pounding. Yeah. Is this guy going to push out though? So don't get some WZ. There you go, showing too much side. Left, but I'll finish him off anyway. Got rid of that T64. Try and flank these guys. Nope, <laughs> they're all getting melted. That last WZ go. He was around here a minute ago. There he is. Just try and get him out of the picture. Come on, let's go. Not great acceleration, but as I say, when it's up to speed, not too bad. Come on, there he is. Let's get it. Come on. No gun depression. See, even going up the little curb can, you know, cause all sorts of problems. Luckily, he's on the high ground now, so I don't have a problem with that. Mobilised him, bouncing some shots. Shot the side, go for the lower plate in the end. And boom, he's dead. Let's push forward. Shots coming in from the uh, right hand side. Oh, the AV. Just hit me with heat. That more than likely went through the side of my tank. I'm trying to keep my armour facing that way. I'm going to try and use this rock to uh, defend myself. Again, luckily, downward slope. I can use my gun elevation to get shots. See if it's the other way around. I wouldn't have a hope. And that missed by a fraction. Let's try it again, shall we? Oh, and he's moving. No, come on. No, no, come on. Stay still, you bugger. There we go. Oh, and I got hit again. That bloody LAV. Let's uh, back up a little bit further. Use this rock, see if we can get a kill on this guy. Don't think he's going to come back out. The LAB is now bouncing, so wherever I've moved, no longer has a uh, shot. I don't think there's just the LAB up there, though. Come on, mate, pop out. Identify. Hostile tank. Pop out. Come on. Oh, just in time, though. He's popped out. Lovely. Bit of payback, Mr. LAV. He's dead. And again, LAV. Don't think he's going to show himself anymore. No. It's all over. Just the OF left. I'm never going to make it around there, I don't think. Not with the speed of this thing. Come on. Come on. No. But let's say, it's a good tank. If you use it correctly, position it well, use the gun elevation, it's okay. If you're going to have to use gun depression, you don't stand a chance. So, yeah. As I say, not an outstanding game. Um, good credits. Second on the team, that's how they did really well. So, those spots he got. 254,000. So, yeah, for tier 5, it's not a bad little learner. I mean, I have got a 50% boost on, though. And again, bounce 2,000 damage. Not bad at all.
Right, let's talk about some of the features in the patch. Um, obviously, you've got the new Zhang dealer with the new Chinese tanks. To access these Chinese tanks, you uh, either need to purchase this premium tank, which will cost you 1,500 gold, or um, I think it's do 120,000 damage whilst you're next to a teammate, which is quite a lot. I think a few people were moaning about that on the, um, on the forums. I mean, I think this is a pretty good deal, 1,500 gold for this tank. Um, you know, I don't think that's bad at all, to be honest. And they've also improved the matchmaker, which I mentioned earlier. I don't think it's an improvement myself. Not king on it. You don't get into battles with many players at all. So, yeah, I'd rather have full teams. I don't mind waiting, but I'd still rather have full teams. I mean, that doesn't matter if I'm platooned or solo. It's still, you know, not full teams. I mean, last night there was... 160 odd people on and yeah we're getting teams of eight or nine it's ridiculous and the enemy team was still getting one or two higher tier tanks than we were so yeah it hasn't really done a lot even though they said it wouldn't um the challenger one can no longer be set on fire so easily by shooting the headlights i did a test this morning and shot the headlights four or five times with hash and no fires it did damage the fuel tanks but no fires so yeah that's that's good news one less weak spot in the challenger one. They have also added, uh, bear with me a sec if I can find it, uh, settings, um, gameplay, a server, style, server side reticle, which I know a lot of people wanted, so that will help. I, I'm not too bothered about it. I was doing quite well without it, so yeah, I'm just not going to change. I've tried it, made no difference, so just take it off. What's the point? I mean, some people are saying in faster games it's a little bit bouncy, so yeah. Um, PVE, you make more credits now. I did a tier 9. I have got 50% boost on the moment, but I made on the first game, I think it's 240,000 credits in the PVE. Um, I did seem to be making more XP in PvP than I was in PVE. Um, when I was working through my Chinese tier 3 tank, um, I did a PvP match and got 1,500 XP. Where in a PvP, I was getting 3,000. So, yeah, not so sure what that's about. Also, um, some of the retrofits have been moved. Uh, artillery retrofits, for example, the PZ H2000 retrofit, the gyro stabilizer, gyroscopic stabilizer. I do apologize. You can still unlock through RT, but you can also unlock it, I believe. Bear with me a second. Where are you? Uh, wrong dealer, sorry. Through the XM8 now. Quick look at There it is. The XM8 actually now has two retrofits you can unlock through that line. So, yeah, that's quite nice. If you don't want to play artillery, you still want the retrofits, they're all accessible now through different lines, which is always a good thing. I mean, obviously, I am not covering all of the. Uh, you know, patch notes and things that are in the patch, I'll leave a link in the video description. These are just things that are more noticeable to myself. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.